guys, it's Google again with another ROM review, and this time I've got the Carbon ROM April release for the OnePlus 3. So stay tuned for that. So guys, Carbon ROM one of the most exciting ROMs for me at least because I've always had a soft spot for Carbon ROM because it's what got me through a lot of tough situations because it had a lot of features it was a very very good ROM and back in the S3 days I had that as my daily driver for a very long time whenever I was out of the country even when I was working I had that ROM I, I really liked that so well right now it's on oreo and it's on our oneplus 3 and that is pretty cool let's get started now first of all launcher is launcher 3 or pixel launcher you can see that and it does work out really well so no worries there let's go to settings menu in the settings menu in the about phone page you can see it is android 8.1 so you can see it is called knocked which is i guess it's the code name for um, the audio version it is april 5 security patches the kernel version is very old i'm not really sure why it hasn't been updated with the latest versions the one which with which it comes is 3.18.71 so that's one thing sns status is enforcing so that's also something which is available now again i just want to clear out everything works there's no issues here and there i i i'm not having any issues with the rom well if you don't know what you can also see everything works really well no worries there let's see the features now first of all all the features are inside the fibers option before that this is not a very feature heavy rom but it introduces a lot of new and exciting features which i'm really happy about and uh, i'm really looking forward to so let's get to the features now all the features are inside the fibers option let's go to the first one first one is system options system option first option is the smart pixel now what is smart pixel smart pixel i mean i have used this as an application in other roms whenever i was having a trouble with bad life what it does is it shuts off individual pixels like 50% uh, of the pixels so you can have a customization for that you can choose how many pixel to uh, shut off so that you get a little bit more battle life I'm not really sure if you are able to see the difference but it is shutting off a few of the pixels now it is almost same as uh, using a dark wallpaper to uh, save battle life because it is an AMOLED display so that is the reason so if you go 88 percentage is gonna be very dark and uh, very pixelated you can also have it enabled with battery savers which is pretty cool and also burn-in pixels so this is one thing which is essential if you have some feature like this so it has a burden feature where you it will shift pixels every five or whatever time you set so that's going to work out really well now one thing which you should understand is that if you enable this gradients and all that is gonna look terrible because gradients does really work very well with it so you can see there are color spots here and there you can see this is slight green this is slightly red so yeah it's not going to look pretty but for the most part if you are really desperate you can get pretty much a okay battle life with this now i'm going i have tried this out and uh I will talk to talk more about it in the battery section but my experience with, with with this even with the application previously was I as I've already said same as you, what you would get with something like a dark wallpaper which you use for your uh, launcher so I'm gonna talk more about that later let's get to the other stuff now first of all again global action you can uh, use advanced restart you can have that power mini customization is available screen of animation can be also be customized which is pretty cool volume button customization is available for all these three options not the most uh, feature rich setting for that but i can live with that recent application recent menu you have a uh, enable memory bar clear button can be enabled and also this location immersive recent can also be enabled then the status bar option you can also enable you can enable the ticker option for song change if you don't want that now this is going to be a little bit slower with uh, our device at least so i'm not going to use that uh, status bar items can be customized now one thing which i noticed is that there is no vlt icon on the top i would have liked that uh, but vlt is working so you don't need to worry about that i have made a lot of calls with that VLT is working, but the icon is not there. So clock and data uh, customization is available with all the few, uh, all the features which you would expect. Also, uh, also battery percentage inside the icon and service icon. By the style can be customized from any of these, so that does work out really well. Network activity uh, can be enabled or disabled on the status bar, and also threshold can be customized. Notification style. Now, notification style you have option for heads up display or ticker or both of them, which is pretty cool. 
it doesn't really have options for customizing the snooze timer and also the dismiss option but it's okay uh, power notification can be enabled or disabled if you want to the lock screen option you have customization you have uh, option to enable battery charging information uh, lock screen shortcuts quick unlock scramble pin layout and also auto face unlock if you don't know what auto face face unlock is it's kind of like the os option where if it detects your face it unlocks your device for you then the button section you have customization for small uh, small buttons or software buttons now it's not really the uh, dui style customization which i'm really used to so it's, it may deter a few people if you are someone who uses pulse and the smart bar because that's a really really good feature so that's something uh playback control for the volume button is also available which is pretty cool torch on when the screen is off and also in the advanced option you do have options for the back home and overview button which you can customize the, which is the ui options so that works out really well uh backlight options are also available if you are someone who uses that now the gesture option you have carbon gestures now carbon gestures i've already mentioned about carbon gestures in my aex one now this is the original one but, uh, as the name suggests uh this is the original rom from where the aex or msm extended i'm sorry msm extended has taken uh this option from so that's really cool uh carbon rom is uh, carbon gestures is a very very nice feature and uh it can get things done so that's pretty amazing i'm really happy about that you can select launch application uh you can have anything working for you uh and in any any menu basically so that's that's pretty cool i really like that now uh, also double tap stats but to sleep and also double tap on the lost thing to sleep is available which is the full on option which is really cool i really like that i'm not really a huge fan of the top only or the bottom only option which is kind of pisses me off so that's one thing then the privacy and security option you can allow untrusted overlays now i don't really know what to do with it or if i am really um gonna use that uh, myself so i'm not really sure about that high def from recent is also available in this one if you want to use uh if you are having a uh, problem with any system application which is going up phantom so that's one thing carbon rom statistics are available and it's enabled by default you can disable that if you don't want to so that's pretty cool and that is it in the carbon fiber option let's in the uh display option you do have nightlight option which is pretty cool which is normally what you would find with any usb rom strangely enough this is a lineage based rom um it doesn't have an active display which i was actually looking forward to not really sure why uh, they didn't put it in because uh, it it says that it is all from linux sources so active display is something missing in this one so that's one thing apart from that uh, font option is available which is pretty cool strangely enough there is no option for customizing the uh, background color and the accent color which is also which is available in almost every other rom which i've seen so not really sure how i feel about that so that's one thing uh display size and font size can be customized ambient display is available it doesn't have pocket mode and all that but i can live with that double tap to make is available which you can enable from here uh it also has additional buttons you can customize that doesn't have vibrate only option or anything like that so something which you have to keep in mind and uh last but not least what i really really like about a carbon rom is that delta updates delta updates are available in this one and i am a huge stickler for delta updates because i mean i have no idea how people are okay with downloading the entire rom for down uh, for dirty flashing i mean i used to love this with respect to mixes nice only ashes an official version which is amazing feature i really really like that i hope all the roms do use this one maybe with the uh, new uh, project treble that may be possible which i'm looking forward to and, uh, yeah i guess i'm just eight in the feature section as i can see it does have a lot of features but it's not the most feature rich rom i'm gonna say it's a very feature rich rom with a lot of new additions which is a uniquely good combination which is really cool uh it's not going to smother you with features like some other other roms too which i don't mind i like a lot of features so that's one thing i'm gonna give it a 6.3 out of 10 because um that's what i feel like now the battle life the battle life has been pretty good i'm, I'm not gonna say it's the best battle life which i've always got so yeah i've been charging quite a bit because i've been watching videos and watching movies uh so yeah that that takes up a lot of uh juice from it but on a whole i've been getting uh idle range so anywhere from 1.2 1.3 percentage which is pretty good i can live with that i i consider anything uh 1.5 below idle range and 15 percent active range as good battle life 
uh, and that's exactly what I get with this. So active range is about 13 to 14 percentage, which is also really good. Can I give it a 7 out of 10 for battle life? Now the performance of the ROM. The performance of the ROM is uh, pretty good. I'm getting about 161,657 as an average, which is on the higher end of things, which is something which I really like. So, um, well, this is the last score which I got, which was about 156,869, which is okay. I can live with that. So yeah, I'm gonna give it a certain for performance. Now the stability of the ROM. The stability of the ROM is uh, pretty much what you would expect. It is pretty stable. I didn't have any issues with that. Everything worked really well. I'm gonna give it a seven out of ten for stability. Now the camera. The camera which with, with which it comes is the snap camera. Now I've already say, sang the praises of this in my previous ROM review. So yeah, same thing here. Works out really well. Uh, has Pro mode, but not as good as uh, uh, OnePlus's Pro mode. It has bokeh effect, but not as good as Gcam's bokeh effect or portrait mode. So, yeah, it's a wash up. I'm gonna give it a sample out of 10 because it actually does take a lot of good photographs. Now, the aesthetics of the ROM. Aesthetics of the ROM, uh, it does have subframe support. Funny thing is, it did ask me for uh, a super user permission and I denied it, but it still works and it does have font and all that option. So, that's something there which I'm really happy about. It does have fun pack which you can install. Incidentally, this ROM also comes with fun pack, so that shouldn't be a problem there. What I really do miss is the background color and the accent color customization, which would have been pretty cool. I'm not really sure why this ROM doesn't have it. Almost all of the ROM have it, has that on Oreo, so yeah, that's that's uh, something of a mystery for me. So yeah, I'm gonna give it a, a 6.5 out of 10 for aesthetics. Now the overall experience of the ROM. The overall experience of the ROM is pretty good. I'm really happy about this ROM. Would I use this ROM as a daily driver? Probably not because I'm, I like more features. I like that this one has unique features like carbon gestures and pixel option and also pixel option is something you can enable from the status bar so that is a quick option. One thing which I do want to mention is that if you are going to use that option with the battle life, I didn't feel like it gave me a lo whole lot better battle life than uh, with it off. With the pixel block off, uh, I'm getting maybe 13% of active gain. With the pixel block on, I'm maybe getting 11 to 12%, which is I'm gonna consider within the realm of uh, error. So, not a huge deal, honestly. And uh, it was the same thing when I was using the application, also. I'm not really sure how good of a uh, solution that is. But it's all up to you if you want to use that very like, power on you. So that's one thing. So yeah, overall experience, I'm gonna give it a seven out of ten because it is a very good ROM, which I'm gonna use as a backup ROM because it's a pretty good ROM for that. Let me show you guys the boot animation, which is pretty cool. So here is the boot animation for Carbon ROM, and uh, it's a pretty enticing boot animation, right? Okay, that was pretty quick. Now that thing goes down, and the, that 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 thing rotates in the bottom also. So that went off pretty too quickly so guys there you have it that is the carbon rom oreo april release not which is uh in my opinion a very very good rom i know carbon rom will improve this a lot by the time i review it again because that's what happened with nougat when they were on nougat the first time i reviewed it it had a very low feature count and all that but the next time it was one of my best roms which i've seen so yeah, that's, uh, I'm, I'm gonna hold it to it. I'm gonna hold Carbon ROM developers to it because I'm really, really excited about this one. So, yeah, that's one thing. So, yeah, I guess that much is it about the ROM. The final score is gonna be 6.94005181. That's gonna, uh, come out to 6.9 out of 10, which is okay, which is pretty cool. And, uh, that's it. I guess that much is it about the ROM. Then, hope you guys like the video. Please just subscribe, like the video if you find it useful. See you guys next time. Bye.